Hi, my name's Mark, one of the pastors here at Trillium. Have you ever started a home project that was outside your comfort zone? I brought back an overseas lamp uh, that runs on DC power, and I ha I'm having to rewire it to AC, and I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm not familiar with very much between the differences in DC and AC, but I know I don't want to trust this lamp to uh, AC current. And I'm, I'm about to embark on this, and I've, I'm really outside my comfort zone, and it's, I'm not feeling very comfortable about this. And it got me thinking about a, a lesson I'd come across in Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. Get comfortable not knowing. Because let's face it, almost every element of life has an a, a element of uncertainty to it, or not knowing. Everything we do in life, everything we need to learn in life, even just the, the practical things that go about our days, are, are, has an element of not knowing. And to become comfortable with not knowing is such an important part of living a successful life, I think. Like, are you going to make it through the day? Maybe yes, maybe no. Who can say for certain? You're probably going to make it through the day. I'm going to probably make it through the day too. But one of these days, you know, the answer is going to be no for us. We're not going to make it through the day. I, I, was, I was looking at my 14-year-old dog. You know, she's getting close to the end. And, and I came across her and she was lying on the carpet and she didn't seem to be breathing. All of a sudden, I'm thinking to myself, is this the day? And I went over and touched her, and she popped up awake. And it freaked me out for a moment. Because sometimes not knowing puts us in that anxious state. We want something definite in life, don't we? We want it to be definite. And, and it isn't always. We want clarity. We want something to be clear, defined, precise, unmistakable. That's what gives us comfort in life. The thought of becoming comfortable with not knowing seems so foreign to people. There's lots of stories in, in the Bible of people journeying off into the unknown, not certain of where they're going or what's going to come out of it. And the story of Abraham comes to mind. As a young man, Abraham's father, Terah, had a, a call from God to go to the Promised Land. And so they left the certainty and safety of their city, Ur, a really ancient and powerful city in the Sumerian civilization, they journey up the Euphrates River to a, a city they're not even familiar with called Haran. And it says that Tara stopped there. He, he didn't go any further. I'm not sure what happened to him. He dies, and there's Abraham in this foreign city with his wife Sarah. They're old people now. They're 75 years old, both of them. And they hear this voice come to them saying to go to the promised land and, and the promise that he, he, Abraham, will become a father to many people. He's got no children. In fact, he's living in the disappointment of disappointments in the ancient world. He feels, in a sense, abandoned by God, his creator, by having no children. And yet he's being asked by God to go off on a journey now to a foreign place that he doesn't even know about, to journey into the unknown, become comfortable with not knowing. And the, and the stories of, of the scriptures celebrate people who are willing to become comfortable enough to make the journey in a sense, uh, to abandon themselves into trusting this higher power that's at work in the world with them. And we call this word faith. Abraham was described as a person of incredible faith because he journeyed off into something that he couldn't see or know for certain. You know, I, I think about that project of working on, on that lamp, and, and I love this lamp. That's why I bought it when I was overseas. And yet, here I am trying to figure out how to rewire it with AC power. And, and, and even though it probably, for some of you, it would be so easy. For me, it's so hard. And, and finally, I kind of threw myself into it, and I just went step by step through it. In, in the end, I, I don't suppose it really matters whether I ultimately have a successful uh, powered lamp or not. It's, it's my willingness to put myself out there and trust that something is at work in my life that will bring me to a proper place. And you may be struggling with things, too, you know. You know, is that marriage of yours going to work out? Is, is your children going to be happy? Is that recipe you're trying, is it going to work out? No guarantees. But the promise to us that's been given is if we put ourselves out there, there will be a power that walks with us. No guarantees in the outcome, but the presence of a higher power walking with us is what God promises to, to us today.